I'm not a squeamish man, and nor do I spare tears for those who deserve punishment. But what I saw in that processorium still haunts me. Naked human beings were standing in a switchbacked line between high fences. Outside the fences, the Adeptus Mechanicus Menials stood guard with shock golds in hand. The people, all mature men and women, were shepherded down the caged walk like livestock. And they were food beasts being led to the slaughter, meat for the ravenous appetite of the machine god. Every surface was easily cleanable. Large plastic flaps divided areas from each other. Servitors with spray units surgically attached to their backs prowled about, hosing filth into slit drains set into the perfectly smooth slanted floors. We walked above all of this, past sentry pods on spikes occupied by galvanic rifle-armed snipers. Our path went from one end of the hall to the other, and I could see pretty much the whole sorting process beginning to end. As the line slowly advanced, the people were passing through various scanning devices, most of them mounted in ugly functional arches that let out a constant series of chimes. Occasionally, one would let out an angry blare, and the indicator lumens would flash red. The rejected person was then swallowed up by a trap door opening beneath their feet. From these pits, a hideous stench filled the air and the grinding sounds of industrial mincers were heard. One rejected man grabbed onto the lip and hung there, arms and hands bloodied, shouting a stream of defiant profanities. Guards then came rushing in, grating to either side of him, and shocked him until finally his grip caused him to fall. The adepts wouldn't even waste bullets on these people. The trap door flipped up, and the next terrified person was ushered forward. A number of mnemonic gates separated the people from each part of the process, snapping open and then shut with bone-crushing force. Violent metal arms snatched them up and spread eagle them in the air. A servitor then sheared them all over. At another, they were subjected to a high-pressure counterseptic wash whose chemical stink made me choke from even a hundred feet away. More scanners, more rejects winnowed out. Machines forcibly dressed them in the heavy rubberized garments common to all the monotask servitors. These were saggy on them, all one size, until another process foreshrank them to fit their bodies, where metal cuffs, sockets, and collars bit into their vulnerable flesh. The shivering lines of terrified men and women reached a final series of gates, they were manhandled into different queues, and then hustled from one room to their fates. Thankfully, I was spared a view of the surgeries. I doubted the Adeptus Mechanicus provided anesthetic, for the same reason they would not dull the pain of a nail under the hammer. What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist part of One Mind Syndicate, and today we are continuing Hollow Weekend. Four days of all things horror when it comes to 40k, and of course, what you've heard is a pretty gruesome description as to what happened to the criminals, the murderers, those unfortunate to be deemed a servitor, or at least will become a servitor. This is a fate worse than death. For in the grim dark future of Warhammer 40k, there is only war, and with war comes death. There are countless ways to die, whether it comes from the mutant, the heretic, or the xeno, but let's not rule out natural disaster, disease, or accident. All these ways are indeed terrible ways that your life can end. All these ways are indeed terrible ways that your life can end, but there is an alternative, a fate worse than death becoming a mindless drone via servitude imperipitis aka the servitor as a servitor you will be mind wiped and often cybernetically enhanced to better accomplish the task you'll be reprogrammed to do the adeptus mechanicus normally creates these beings and supplies them to the multiple departments within the imperium's administratum 
Space Marine chapters, as well as Admech Forge Worlds, also have many servitors amid their ranks to help them clean, fix, and in some rare instances, be used for combat or medical purposes. One such abomination is that of the Murder Servitor. Due to the lobotomy and reduced motor functions, most servitors are slow and methodical. However, these are quite the opposite. Their brains are laced with multiple circuits that ignite messages to their brain. These messages then multiply and give them multiple instances of superhuman speed and tactics to accomplish their goal. And that goal is simply slaughter. With a desensitation to pain, they will likely rip apart their own body to accomplish this task. Pair this lethality with their mechanical components, and this servitor has now become a cyborg murder monstrosity. The murder servitor is usually seen within spacecraft and orbital stations, typically as guards for criminals or as hunters when these criminals do happen to escape. They can range from hulking brutes to slim and slender assassins. Their arms could be augmented with hooks, blades, or outright replaced with bolters or even plasma cannons. This may seem like overkill, but it's best to be overprepared than caught unaware, specifically if you are boarded by the Drukhari, the orcs, gene stealers, or other space pirates. And with that being said guys, that is where I will end this video for today. Clearly, the servitor can be used for menial tasks such as fixing a light bulb, or they can be used alongside the Adeptus Astartes as fire support, as just grunts to lead to the slaughter, or as a means to fix and assist any other type of task that the space marines themselves will not do. Yeah reading the first portion as to how these poor humans are basically pushed into a slaughterhouse is pretty crazy now it does get a ton more gruesome if you continue to read and find out just exactly what they do to the brain to lobotomize and create this servitor now even though the servitor is pretty much a non thinking non-cognitive being there have been a few occasions where the personality of the person that has become a servitor leaks through and usually this is met with either death or a very very painful reconstruction of the brain to allow these emotions this personality to once again fall subconscious it is a very, very cruel fate, but of course, this is a galaxy filled with war where hope is never there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this eerie story on the Servitor. We do have a 40 facts that goes more in depth as to what other Servitors are and a little bit more into their creation, so you guys can check that out. It is a very, very old video, so it's pretty dated, but still the information there is pretty interesting. Now with that being said guys, please stay subscribed because more videos on the horror aspect of 40k will be coming and on Halloween itself there will be a creepypasta. So with that being said guys, check out the playlist, check out the previous playlist of Halloween week for 2021 as well as 2020 and we even have a playlist for creepypastas. So with that being said guys, thank you for watching, thank you for commenting, don't forget to subscribe, and if you guys want to help out support us, we do have a super thanks and a Patreon, so all of that would be greatly appreciated, if not, thank you anyway for listening and watching, and of course, this has been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.